Travel Town is located in Griffith Park in Los Angeles, California. First engine we come to is Southern Pacific 3025. It is an Atlantic, a 442, a fast passenger steam engine, and was used came to the collection in 1952. This is the Rio Vista Pacific Electric hot trolley waiting station built in 1920. Atlantic um, was built in 1904 by Alco. The this engine has an interesting history. In the 1915 Panama Pacific International Exhibition held in, Calif in San Francisco, it was lifted up so its drivers could spin. The spinning drivers powered an elaborate lighting system for nighttime light shows during the exposition. This is other engine on the left is the Santa Maria Valley number 1000, a 28 to Mikado, built in 1920 by Alco as Heshechi Number no. 4. It came to Travel Town in 1953. Behind it is the Southern Pacific 1273, an 060, built in 1921 by SP in their Sacramento shops. This is the Los Angeles Harbor District Number no. 31, an 04. OT, built in 1921 by Davenport. The Los Angeles Harbor Port in San Pedro is artificial and completely man-made. These engines and side dump cars were used in creating it. Here's a little view of the cab. A lot of things are missing because um, they have been climbed on for years. This other engine is the Los Angeles Harbor District number 32, another 040T. Built, this one was made in 1914 by Alco. These are saddle tank engines. Very small industrial engines. Another sidecar for the Los Angeles Port Project. This is the Pickering Lumber Company number two, a 1918 Heisler that was built like the Mikado for the Hetchy as their number two. And it worked on that big dam project. You can see the side mounted cylinders and central shaft come into Heislers. There's another view of the cab. And there's the side rods coming off the central driving, ro driving rod and the side mounted cylinders that come together in the middle to power the drive rod that spins underneath the, the length of the engine, powering the wheels. There's the rod, and the wheels are connected with this with those uh, rods. This is a three-truck Heisler. I've never seen a, a three-truck Heisler myself. And behind it, this is the Camino Placerville and Lake Tahoe number two. It is a nineteen. Is a nineteen twenty two built by Lima. It's a three truck Shea. It was donated in nineteen fifty five by the Michigan California Lumber Company. You can see the standard Shea's offset boiler with all the cylinders on one side of the boiler. The wheels are all geared and come off a drive shaft that powers them. There you can see the. The cylinders coming down to the un the gear at the bottom that powers the wheels. All the wheels have uh, gears to the sides, and then that shaft rotates, powering the whole engine. This little O six O T is Consolidated Rock Products Number One. Here's another broadside view of that three truck Shea. Back to Conrock One. It was built in 1925 by Alco and it has worked as an industrial rock quarry its whole service life. Travel Town was begun in 1952 when the park expressed that it wanted a steam engine for children to climb on. Charlie Atkins was a park employee and began a letter writing campaign to all the large railroad companies asking for steam engines because they were beginning to be retired. He was more successful than he expected and grew a very large collection. 
He kept up this correspondence until his death in 1958 and received many steam engines and other donations. This is Western Pacific number 26, a 280 consolidation built in 1909 by Alco. Consolidations were commonly used for freight service. The locomotive pavilion was completed in 2003. This engine is Union Pacific number 4439, an 060 built in 1918 in the UP shops. It was one of the last working steam engines in Southern California, working the Harbor Belt line, and in the end it was donated by UP in 1957. Is a Vanderbilt tender. It's an SP outside frame box car. This UP Caboose 2117 was built in 1881. This electric engine is Pacific Electric 1544. It was built in 1902 by Northwestern Pacific Railroad, and it was used to clean up from the 1906 San Francisco earthquake. Eventually, it worked its way down to Southern California and became Pacific Electric. Speaking of Pacific Electric, this green car is Pacific Electric 1543, built in 1911 by ACF. The yellow UP car is a 1937 Pullman-built Little Nugget Club car. The Interurban was one of the last cars to operate by the Los Angeles Metropolitan Transit Authority. These three cars are a bit different in that they are narrow gauge and are not from California. These three were built in Hawaii in 1900 by the Oahu Railway and Land Company. Caboose number one, passenger mail number 36, and coach number one. These cars were used to pull passengers here in Griffith Park following a, a small steam engine up into the 1970s. Eventually the steam engine went back to Hawaii. This next car is Western Pacific Caboose, number 754. It was built in 1910 by Haskell and Barker. This is private owner Richfield oil tank car number 670, built in 1911. The car was in service until 1960. And this is Sharp and Fellows Railroad Contractor Number no. 7. It is a 262 Prairie built by Dixon Works in 1902. Another view of the front of the pavilion and that Western Pacific 26. There's the pavilion again. This is Mariposa, a 1864 built 440 made by Norris Lancaster. It traveled to California by boat around the Horn because it predates both the Transcontinental Railroad and the Panama Canal. It was Central Pacific 
G named Mariposa and eventually was owned by Southern Pacific and finally became Stockton Terminal and Eastern number one in 1910. It was in service until 1953 and then came to travel town. Here's one of the only operable engines here, number 52, the Charlie Atkins. Number 52 is a somewhat rare EMC Model 40. It was built in 1940 and it was used for moving cars and industrial sites. We'll get back to this one. In the back is Santa Fe Motor Car, number M177, built in 1929 by EMC and Pullman. It's a gas-powered, self-propelled car that was used mostly on rural, underutilized trains. This engine was donated by McDonnell Douglas in 1988. It is operable and used to move equipment around the museum. This is Santa Fe, number 664. It is a 280 consolidation. It was built in 1899 by Baldwin. There are some maintenance issues at this museum. Some of the equipment is in very rough shape, but it is a historic collection mostly focused on, on California. I hope they're able to keep it up with the maintenance. Having a covered display area and generally nice weather, I'm sure helps. This is California Western number 56. It's a 1955 Baldwin that was given to the museum in exchange for some of the Hawaiian steam engines. It is operable like the number 52. There is a 16 inch gauge miniature railroad that encircles the museum site, giving rides to children and families there are several other train-related sites close by in Griffith Park, like the Los Angeles Live Steamers and the Carrollwood Barn, but these were closed the day that I visited. Travel Town has about 18 engines and many other cars in the collection. In the beginning, it wasn't just a steam or railroad museum. It was a general travel museum with autos, wagons, airplanes, and even rockets. Over the years, the collection was pared down, and it became more focused. Thank you for joining me on this November 2022 field trip to Griffith Park and Travel Town in Los Angeles, California. I have more field trips planned, as well as more projects. Please like and subscribe if you like what I'm doing, because it encourages me to keep it up. Thank you.